It's like you're watching a movie. And this is the Bosnian war criminal uh, who committed suicide right before everybody else. And uh, this is after his um, appeal was rejected by the judges. And he basically drank poison and even announced what he has done and uh, said goodbye. Uh, very, very, very unfortunate. But the big question is how was, you know, the man able to come with this kind of, you know, uh, poisonous uh, liquid into into the, the courtroom? Mm -hmm. And I think that is one thing that needs to be investigated. How was he able to, you know, move with this thing into into the courtroom? But this is a, it's very challenging for them, you know, and because the man is or, or already dead. Yeah. So, yeah, so as you say, that this, it's, it's crazy what we keep seeing nowadays. What yeah. happened, yes, mm -hmm. and of course for him, I don't know how he managed to get that poison, and it mm -hmm. seems to have been a very lethal, lethal poison. poison. Uh, because as soon as he, has he had taken it, he did mention that he has taken poison and gave the reason to mm -hmm. why he had done that, because he rejected uh, the verdict that was given. But by the time they got him to an ambulance and to hospital, uh, it was too late. But there you go. Get mm -hmm. yourself a copy of The Nation, and The Standard has that story as well on the details of what happened. Let's look at the star.